One of the first things you see when you arrive on Mackinac Island is Marquette Park in Fort Mackinac. And just below the fort sits a historic building that now houses the Richard and Jane Manoogian Art Museum. David Lydon and Aaron Malone take us there for Hometown Tourist. It was built in 1838 as an Indian dormitory. It only served in that capacity for, for less than 10 years. And then it became the Mackinac Island Public School in 1867, and it served in that capacity until 1960, so fairly recently. The Richard and Jane Manukian Art Museum opened up about 10 years ago and houses fine and decorative art detailing Mackinac Island's history as only art can. Well, it ranges from 18th and 19th century views of, of Mackin Island um, up to a modern juried exhibition that's uh, open to all artists and, and of all, all mediums. And so it really just showcases Mackinac's history in, in just that, that special way that art can. Two levels of exhibits display items like handcrafted Native American beadwork as well as a pottery shirt dating back nearly 10,000 years. It was found on this exact site. Another gallery displays 18th and 19th century views of the island. Upstairs lies a treasure trove of historic maps, a juried art exhibition for anyone who wants to enter, and a historic photography exhibit. The works of William Gardner, who was a prominent photographer here on the island, and what was going to be thrown away had now become one of the cornerstone pieces of our collection, 4,000 plus images of historic Mackinac dating from the late 1800s up until the 1930s. Just this wonderful, amazing collection that, that we use in all of our gallery pieces and exhibit pieces here of, you know, when we're doing something about Mackinac Island. And they were lucky to get this wealth of photographs and hand-tinted prints from William Gardner. Thousands of photos were marked to go to the dump and saved just in the nick of time years after he passed. From thousands of years ago to the present day, and a kid's studio to create more art, this museum covers it all in a special way. So we can really celebrate these beautiful pieces of Mackinac's history, have this wonderful area to really come in and relax and, you know, and contemplate the history of this area and, and how much has actually happened in this tiny little, you know, rock in the middle of Lake Huron. And then in complement to the, the other history of Mackinac as well, you have Fort Mackinac and, you know, Grand Hotel and all these other wonderful places that you can really, you know, contemplate that history here right in the thick of things downtown here on Mackinac Island. For Hometown Tourist on Mackinac Island, I'm David Lydon.